What's up, motherfucking YouTube? I'm right here, just chilling today. Hot as fuck. Start of summer. Start of my second build. Well, it's stage two of the build. Um, just really quick, I just got my camera back. That's why I haven't made any videos. But uh, it's on and cracking. VTech Torque, VTech Torque H2B, VTech Torque just plain. Um, wanted to get into um, what I ended in my last video and post that up. I still haven't posted it, but I'll post that up for you guys today. It's a tire. I ended up buying the, the tire and installed it, and the motherfucker uh, grips good. I mean, I have no LSD, but the tire, the Doriza, Dunlop Doriza, it grips really good. I mean, as opposed to the last tire I had, um, which I can't remember from the top of Michelin. Something like that. Anyways, yeah, I installed the tire. The only thing is that um, it's already kind of like ripping on some uh, grooves. I don't know if it was grip or if it, um, you know, touched my fender. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll show you guys a little bit more of that um, in the next videos. But anyways, um, um, I'm going to be shooting a video soon on how the car uh, rides. Uh, but first, I wanted to get into... Um, something real quick i got a bit of a surprise um well first i'm gonna let you guys know about the camera uh the camera that i bought uh got for christmas and shit um i'm gonna start shooting videos in the car i know when i don't have somebody around me and i'm dipping or you know racing some peeps around the neighborhood um uh, usually don't have a camera guy so you know i can't be shifting and shooting videos at the same time but with this i should be able to catch a lot more uh uh, on the road footage, you know, of the H2B, uh, going at it with K20s, B18s, Mustangs, you know, um, domestic imports, whatever the fuck it is. I'm going to shoot a bunch of videos. I've been racing it um, and haven't been able to catch anything. But I got the SD card for this bitch, and it's going to go right on the window. Hopefully, I ain't on fail blog. I know a lot of uh, fail blog videos have these fuckers. Um, it's like an in thing, but anyways... Let's get to the dilly yo. Which is the carbon fiber motherfucking trunk. Yep, bought the fucking trunk. Um got the motherfucker uh what was it? Maybe like a week ago. I got it from Andy's Auto Sports NRG. Bought it for four hundred bucks. Uh pretty satisfied. I mean there was a few things on the motherfucker where i had to drill holes or or you know what i mean like the skeleton on the inside um you know like uh the lock on the inside didn't uh match up so i had to kind of like punch holes on it um got the whole trunk on the hatch uh basically stripped down the old one uh is out and i'm gonna install this bad boy i really want to shoot a video of uh me dipping in the streets with this uh, trunk and um, you know the new tire so that's gonna come soon that's gonna be on my next bid uh, I wanted to let you guys know about the carbon fiber trunk I weighed it I weighed it uh, uh, compared to uh, the stock one which the stock one weighed I think was like can't really remember from the top of my head right now too good but I think it was like 15 pounds uh, this one weighed about five pounds um so the difference was about almost 10 pounds um 400 bucks for the trunk i mean let me know put it on the on the um on the on the messages below let me know if it was worth fucking paying 400 to reduce 10 10 pounds i mean i'm not sure if it was more because i like the look of carbon fiber or if it did anything for my weight reduction, I'm hoping that the tr that the hood of the car um, reduces more weight than that. Because 10 pounds, 400 bucks, uh, uh, doesn't weigh out. Um, stepping on some iced coffee right now because it's fucking hotter than a virgin. Um, and I wanted to get to, uh, uh, I guess, fucking installing this fucker. It was four boats that were killing me, and I ended up going to Harbor Freight. They opened up a store locally around here. It's um, 
there's a lot of deals and shit so i went over there i purchased this, purchased a few things let me know what you guys think about harbor freight tools man it just sounds too good to be true and when i'm there i'm just like looking at all these tools and they're like mad fucking deals and i'm just like should i buy them should i not should i wait i mean let me know what you guys think below about harbor freight if you guys have purchased from them if you guys would uh, recommend them to a friend you know what i mean friend me friend me please friend me on youtube my niggas um um i also wanted to talk about the parts on the car like uh the parts that i've installed already you know it's been a few months now and i can honestly give you uh my point of view on wh how the parts function and what i think of them uh, i'm gonna start with the suspension really quick i'm not gonna get into all of them but i'm gonna start with the suspension the suspension i must say that form and function or function and form whatever the fuck it's called uh coilovers um are pretty good i like them a lot uh when i'm hitting corners i mean i still need a lot of the bars underneath the car but i mean from you know being in my friends cars you know they had tin 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 suspension tn suspension i've had friends with like mugen suspension and shit i mean it, it's it's good for it's a lot of bang for your buck uh if you guys um you know are looking for a good suspension but you know on a budget very great i have nothing but good uh good feedback on that so let me know if you guys got any questions uh exhaust and headers um i haven't done a dyno on them so i mean i can't let you know about power numbers but i'm pretty satisfied with the sound um there but there's times where i want i want it louder at a lower rpm you know um i'm used to having like a a, a v6 3000 gt with a with straight pipe no resonators i mean the fucker was loud dude i would turn head so um i do want it a little bit louder also it's a 2.5 mandrel bend and i know if i did a crush bend it would actually be two because i think crush bend takes away half inch on your fucking pipe diameter or yeah diameter or whatever the fuck you would call that um but i want i do want to go three inch mandrel bend because i heard that the three inch um it is more suitable for the h2b there the fuckers like to breathe and i think that's where i'm gonna go is just I spent so much money on the two resonators, the mandrel bend, and the muffler that I'm just like, fuck, I should have just started with the 3-inch. Um, intake, I can't really say much about it. Like I said, no dyno numbers. I'm pretty happy. I'm going to install the downpipe for the cold air intake soon. I'll be putting that on my next video. The camber kit, I've noticed uh, a better a better traction. A better traction. I've noticed better traction once the camber kit was in and it hasn't um come off its setting so pretty good i mean once again it's uh skunk too no complaints i even bought a reservoir cap which has cooled the motor even lower it's a bit lower well it's uh, a, a right above a quarter on the cold to hot gauge and uh, you know a quarter from you know halfway point uh the steering wheel I thought, you know, NRG was a company that was um, maybe maybe not that good, but I took a risk, but fuck, dude, I mean, I, I drive the fucking, I got no power steering, and I'm gripping that leather uh, very tight and turning corners hard, you you name it, the, the fucking steering was my bitch, you know, when I'm dipping in it, and the leather, not one, not one complaint, the leather still nice and tight on it, and, um, you know it's not flimsy i've had a flimsy steering wheel in the past with my 3000 gt and didn't like that shit the circumference is perfect too a 360 uh 360 millimeters the steering wheel the viper alarm no complaints either i have like that sensor thingy where you know if you get too close to the car it goes beep 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 beep, beep. doesn't bug the shit out of me you know so i mean i think that's great uh fucking finally saved up enough money and more videos are coming soon uh badass videos i'm talking about dyno videos tuning videos racing videos you name it i just fuck you know my hands my hands were gone but i've saved up a couple of g's and well a few g's and um you know let me know where, where i should you know stage two where i should attack you know on uh, first um buy, buy me a lot of tools i'm gonna be welding i'm gonna be fucking um you know basically doing doing a lot of work in the garage i'm gonna remodel the fucker so that i could shoot a lot of videos um you know hands-on um 
anyways, if you guys have any fucking uh, suggestions or what you want me to race or what you what the fuck you want me to do on motherfucking YouTube, put put it in the comments below, man. Uh, you know, fucking you trolls out there too, man. You want to talk shit? Put it down there. I don't care. Uh, but I do appreciate all the subscribers and uh, all my buddies on there and just keep writing to me. Thanks, guys. Latest.